Hello my dear fearless souls today, we are going to talk about Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is one of the most notorious and enigmatic serial killers in history. Active in the impoverished Whitechapel district of London in the late 1800s. Jack the Ripper is believed to be responsible for a series of brutal murders that occurred between August and November of 1888. The true identity of Jack the Ripper has never been conclusively determined, and the case remains unsolved. The victims of Jack the Ripper, commonly known as the Canonical Five, are considered to be the primary victims attributed to the killer. They are Mary Ann Nichols, August 31, 1888 Nichols was a 42-year-old prostitute who was found murdered in Bucks Row, now Durward Street. Her throat had been deeply cut and she had suffered multiple abdominal injuries. Annie Chapman, September 8, 1888 Chapman, a 47-year-old prostitute, was found murdered in the backyard of 29, Hanbury Street. Her throat had been cut, and her abdomen was mutilated, with some of her organs removed. Elizabeth Stride, September 30, 1888 Stride, a 44-year-old prostitute, was found murdered in Dutfield's yard off Burner Street. Her throat had been slashed, but her body did not display the extensive mutilations found in other cases. Catherine Eddowes, September 30, 1888 Eddowes A 46-year-old prostitute was found murdered in Mitre Square. Her throat had been cut, and her abdomen was extensively mutilated. Some of her organs had been removed, and her face had been disfigured. Mary Jane Kelly, November 9, 1888 Kelly, a 25-year-old prostitute, was found murdered in her room at 13 Miller's Court. Her injuries were the most severe of all the victims. Her throat was cut down to the spine, her abdomen was almost emptied of organs, and her face was mutilated beyond recognition. All of the victims were women engaged in prostitution and were living in the impoverished East End of London at the time of their murders. The gruesome nature of the killings, along with the media sensationalism surrounding the case, contributed to the enduring infamy of Jack the Ripper. The precise number of victims attributed to Jack the Ripper remains uncertain, as there were other unsolved murders during that time that some believe may be connected to the same perpetrator. However, the canonical five are the most widely recognized victims associated with the case. Despite numerous investigations and countless theories, the true identity of Jack the Ripper has eluded law enforcement and researchers for over a century. The case continues to captivate the public imagination, making Jack the Ripper one of the most infamous figures in criminal history. Jack the Ripper's method of killing his victims was characterized by extreme brutality and violence. He primarily targeted vulnerable women engaged in prostitution during the late hours of the night. Jack the Ripper would approach his victims, usually in dark and secluded areas, and quickly overpower them. He would then proceed to slash their throats, causing severe bleeding and ultimately leading to their deaths. In many cases, he would further mutilate the bodies, focusing on the abdominal area and removing organs with surgical precision. The level of violence inflicted upon the victims, coupled with the precise nature of the mutilations, suggests a certain level of anatomical knowledge or skill. These gruesome and horrific acts left an indelible mark on the history of crime, further perpetuating the mystery surrounding the identity of Jack the Ripper. So I will see you guys tomorrow.